Yes, indeed. Look at that view this morning, Dan and Lou. Isn't it gorgeous? You can hear the fountains just tinkling away in the background. The sun is beating down. It's a beautiful start to the day, not just here in London, but across many parts of the UK. Now, if you suffer from an allergy to grass pollen, that's the main one that may well be affecting you at the moment. The levels today are moderate to high across most of the UK, except for across northern and eastern Scotland, where they are low. So the forecast for today is one that's very warm, a lot of sunshine, a lot of dry weather, but thunderstorms developing. But not this morning across most of Scotland. It's a dry start. We've got a bit more cloud lapping in across the northeast and some showers in parts of the south and west. Some of those could turn thundery. Across northern England, a lot of dry weather as there is too across the Midlands in through most of East Anglia. But in the southeast this morning, there is still just a risk of the odd thunderstorm coming up from the near continent. Drifting further west along the south coast, again, a lot of dry weather, one or two showers, still quite murky across southwest England and also Wales, but that will tend to burn back to the coast and altogether clear for some of us as we go through the day. But it's across Anglesey, the Isle of Man, and also in through Northern Ireland, we've got some thundery showers and there are more still to come, but in between them there will be sunshine. Now, a lot of dry weather today. The highest temperatures are likely to be anywhere from London to York, where we could hit 28. It'll be a wee bit cooler in Wales. It's been very warm in Port Maddock for the last couple of days. But then we'll see the thunderstorms develop in western, central and some eastern areas. So we're including in the east the London area, the home counties, that kind of area. East Anglia could well miss them. But if you do catch one, we're likely to see a lot of rain in a short amount of time. And that could lead to some problems with travelling. It may lead to some localised flooding as well. Through the evening and overnight we still will have a lot of thundery downpours in the first part of the night. But as we get to the second part of the night some of those will fade and we'll also have some low cloud and some mist and fog lapping onto the shores of the northeast. Tonight's temperature range 7 to 17. So feeling quite muggy if you're under the 17. And then as we head into tomorrow we start with the showers in the east a lot of dry weather, a lot of sunshine. The showers in the east will fade, but in the west we'll see further showers develop, not as prolific as today, and temperatures up to about 25. Then for Thursday, a drier day, still a lot of sunshine around. Temperatures probably in the low 20s, with a few showers in the west, and a little bit more cloud lapping on shore in the east at times. That leads us into more unsettled conditions Friday, Saturday and Sunday, when we'll have some rain, but equally, there'll be some sunny spells as well. So not quite as hot as we head through Friday and the weekend, Dan and Lou, which might be good news for some people. It might indeed, might it? It looks lovely and cool there too, Carol. Thank you very much. See you later. Thank you.